Hello friends, welcome to our today's lesson. Here we are going to look at this question that came when one of the past papers at uh, Ridgeway, which is for pharmaceutical chemistry, uh, second year pharmacy. All right, so let's try to start this question. Here they're saying A, which is question four, compound F exhibit an absorption maximum at 450 nanometer, which is the wavelength. A basic solution containing 1.05 times 10 to the power negative 3 molarity of compound F transmits 71.6% of incident radiation at 450 nanometer when placed in a uh, 1.00 centimeter cells. Alright, so here the question is what is the absorbance of this solution. Remember, this is eight marks, six, six, then two. So what is the absorbance of this solution? In other way, they can ask you to say, what is the absorption of this solution? So here, there are two ways in which you can calculate this problem or this question. So the first uh, formula that we can use is Absorbance is equal to negative log, then transmittance. This can also be written as absorbance is equal to log 1 over transmittance, like that one. Then, there is also this one, which is absorbance is equal to, this is another way, uh, the molar absorptivity at specific wavelength times concentration times the the distance or the length of uh, the cell so here let's try to write the data that we have been given so here i'm just going to write data so here i'm going to say uh i've been given the concentration which is uh more here more it, which is uh, 1.05 times 10 to the power negative 3 more right then I also have uh, the distance or diameter or the length, which is 1.00 centimeters. Then I also have the percentage transmitters, which is 71.6% uh, in that way. So look here, guys. Looking at the data that we have, which formula can we use for us to calculate the absorbency of this solution. So, let me say I, I use this one, but here I don't have the molar absorptivity. Remember, I said that this T is a transmittance, don't forget. Then this, uh, this one is the molar absorptivity, molar absorptivity. Then con this C is for concentration, then D is for distance or the length. All right, so which formula can we use for us to calculate this absorbency? When I use this one, here I only have concentration and distance, but I don't have uh, the molar absorptivity. And I can see that here is the one that I've been asking the next question. So what am I going to do for me to come up with uh, or to solve this? Uh, problem. So I'm going to use this uh, formula which is on top there or yeah which is the absorbance is equal to log 1 over transmittance. Now there's, there was one thing I want to tell you. When they say transmittance here we've been given a percentage transmittance. Transmittance is the fraction of the incident radiation. Here they are saying compound F transmits 71.6% of incident radiation. Now the fraction of those incident radiation, for example, this is the this is the, the solution here. Then in, in, here it has got uh, the length which is it. Okay. So here it has got the length which is uh maybe two centimeter or one centimeter, that is a distance. So now, 
There are some radiation that will come here. This radiation, some of the radiation will be absorbed and some of the radiation will be transmitted. So we want to find the transmittance is to have the the fraction which is the for example here it is three here it is five so i have three over five that will be my transmittance that when we say three over five what are we going to have is 0.6 and most transmittance it is in a decimal because it is a fraction then for us to find the percentage transmittance we are just going to multiply it with the hundred to multiply the transmittance, which is the fraction of incident radiation, times 100. So what am I going to do? Here, this T here is not the percentage transmittance, it is the transmittance, and it is uh, in decimal. So here, the one that I've been given, it is the percentage transmittance. So what am I going to do? Please, for you to, to get it back into uh, transmittance, you are going to... to to divide it by 100. Remember, for you to take this back into transmitters, you divide it by 100. So I'm going to say 7 to 1.6% over 100. Then I'm going to have 0 0.716 like that. Then here, I'll do like this. Absorbance is equal to log 1 over, what, to, what is my transmittance is this one, which is 0 0.716. Then what am I going to have? So 1 divide 0 0.716, I'm going to have um, log 1.3966966. Like that, then 48. 045, 045, like that one. So let me just rub on top here. Okay. All right. So here, so when I say log, my answer there, I'm going to have uh, transmit uh, the absorbance is equal to 0 0.45, uh, 0 0.145. Uh, 086977, 086977, then which is my absorbance is equal to 0 0.145. Remember, the absorbance or the absorption of this solution, it doesn't have units. So please, you may fail just because of you have put units which doesn't have. So you need to leave it like that. Absorbance or absorption of this solution doesn't have uh, units. Then we go to the next uh, to the next uh, question, which is three marks. Okay, so let's go to the next question, which is three marks. Okay. So what am I going to do? So I'm coming to this, which is uh, they're saying uh, this is two. They're saying what is the molar absorptivity of who? F, which is the compound F, at 450 nanometer. That is the wavelength. Please, as I said that this molar absorptivity, why am I putting the, lam the lambda there? It's because it is at a specific wavelength. Even here they have stated to say, what is the molar absorptivity of F at 450 nanometer, which is the specific wavelength. So here I'm going just to use the formula. Which formula can I use? So already I have uh, absorbance and there's that formula which has absorb which is absorbance is equal to molar absorptivity um, times concentration times the distance or the length so here this is the formula that I'm going to use then I can tell to say the molar absorptivity I already have so which is uh, 0 0.14 five like that then is equal to what is the so this is the absorbance sorry this is the absorbance i already have the absorbance which is 0 0.145 what is the molar absorptivity that's the one i'm calculating what is my concentration is 1.05 times 10 to the power negative 3 molarity times what is the distance is 
centimeter. 1.0 centimeter. So here, for me to come up with uh, the molar absorptivity, so here I can just do this so that, uh, okay, I can do this. I can do this. So the best thing I can just do C over D. Oh, sorry, uh, the, the molar absorptivity over concentration time distance, then I'm going to divide it to the both side, then this one will go. Then molar absorptivity, I'm going to have absorbance over concentration times the uh, distance, which is the, the length. So molar absorptivity, I already have, which is 0 0.145. Then over, what is my concentration? Is 1.05 times 10 to the power negative 3. Right times what is the 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 distance of that cell, which is one point zero zero centimeter like that. Then, what is my answer? What is my answer? So here, I'm going to say uh, zero point zero zero point one four five. They were same answer which I have. Divide 1.05 exponent negative 3. Then times 1 there. Then here I'm going to have 138.17. Point then what are the units? So remember here on top it doesn't have units on the numerator, but here on the denominator we have molar, molarity and also the, uh, cent the centimeter there. So here it will be per molarity per centimeter like that. Then which is, it can be written as uh, 138.18. Or point two or point one eight like that one, which is the per molarit per centimeter like that. So that is the molar absorptivity. Remember the units. Don't forget. So absorbance doesn't have units. Then the molar absorptivity it has got units. So let's go to the next question, which is the question three. So question three, they are saying, what would be the percentage? transmitters if the cell length were 2.50 centimeter so here the cell length has changed if it were uh, if it was uh, 2.50 centimeter what would be the percentage transmitters first of all we need to find the transmitters then we can find the percentage how then so here what am i going to do remember i have these formulas logo then 1 over t log 1 over t then i also have this formula which is the molar absorptivity concentration and distance so what am i going to have the transmittance is here but the distance which has changed is here so i'm going to use both formula so let me use the both formulas how let me do this which is uh, i'm going to use this like that let me find first the absorbency so absorbency i'm going to say is equal to what is the molar absorptivity we have already calculated which is 138.18 so 138.18 that is my absorptivity so the the molar absorptivity here like that one then times what is my concentration is 1.05 times 10 to the power negative 3 right times the distance has changed now this is 2.5 centimeters so this centimeter and this centimeter go on will go then this one right and this one will go then more absorptivity you know that doesn't have units so let me calculate the same let me calculate so so we're going to have uh, 0 0.362714444. 4. 
so which can also be written as uh, 0 0.3 0 0.367 uh, just like that or 0 0.363 like that you know that the absorbance doesn't have units as I said earlier so this is how you go about that so for us to find the percentage transmitters we can uh, find first the transmittance so what is uh, the transmitters we are going just to say Let's try to use the same formula, which is uh, this one. This is the same formula, which is here. Like that. So, okay. So here, I'm just going to say if I can even also write it in this way. Log T is equal to negative absorbance, like that. So now, when I reach at that point, I'll do... This t, oh sorry, I can just uh, log t is equal to, what is the absorbance? It's negative uh, 0 0.363, remember, which is t uh, is equal to 10 to the power negative 0 0.363, like that. So I'm going to say 10 to the power negative 0 0.363. Uh, so here it will be transmittance is equal to 0 0.4379301616 or 16 like so it will be what it will be transmittance is equal to 0 0.3379301616 which can be I will need to have space on top there okay Okay, so this transmitters, remember, it can, it's just the same as uh, 0 0.434, like that. So this is just a transmittance, but remember it is just a decimal. We need to put it into, or to take it into percentage. That is our question. So for us to take it into percentage, we are going to say, so percentage transmitters is equal to this transmitters times the hundred percent so that will be our percentage transmitters is equal to uh, 0 0.434 uh, times hundred what will be our answer percentage transmitters is equal to um, 43.4 percent so that will be our answer so this is how we are supposed to answer this question guys thank you so much for watching this video please remember to click on the subscription button and share this video so that we can move at the same pace thank you